Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's G from Happiness and Crafting. So today I'm going to show you how to make the um, little journal I showed you in the Friday Freebie 51 video. Um, it's like a little three pocket um, journal like this. Really, really simple to make. Um, I've got a few pages on the inside. We've got probably about 10 or 12 pages in there. Um, and it is really, really lovely. Really simple to make. Um, I've made this one out of the Friday Freebie. Okay, so I'm going to make this one out of the grungy rose paper just to show you, you can make it with any paper But I just didn't want to um, with the Friday freebie. So I'm just going to use a different paper So what you need is two pieces of paper pattern paper, whatever you've got. Um, I've actually cut this one in half um, So you just want two pattern papers and two sort of like backing papers, which are these are just um, coffee stain papers, so that will be for just making the back of the pocket so you can use any paper that you like um, you can even use another one of these if you wanted to uh, but I've just used it's 160 gram paper I've used on the back um, and this in here I think is just a hundred gram paper that I've coffee stained um, so that's what you need so two pieces of paper um, and two backing papers and then what I've got I've just sorted out some of my little embellishments I've got a few little clusters that I had made um, I've got some lovely ribbon which I might use not ribbon it's some seam binding and then I've got some of my words and phrases in there oh and a couple of little, little butterflies so it's all in a sort of like a nice color palette so if you start off and pick your papers and pick some ribbon and some little bits but try and get all your your colors in um, to all match and have that all ready um, and then it will be so much easier to make um, so I'm just going to pop all those little bits in there I'm also going to show you how I use the um, stapler stapler in this as well and I've also got the little bit of ink just to ink the edges I am going to sew on this one as well so what I've done I've just we need the first piece of paper and then we just need one of these so let's put those two to the side so I have just cut those straight down the middle now what I want to do, I want to just stick this onto here, not stick it, I want to um, cut round it, so we need this to be the pocket, so this is the, the bit that we're going to start off with, is this main bit, which is the pocket, now this is separate, um, I've actually stuck these on, because I wanted it to be, because um, as I was making it, I was just sort of like making it up as I went along, so I'm going to show you exactly how I did it. Um, so I'm just going to pop this on here and then I'm going to, so I want to cut round it, make sure that's level like that and then I'm going to use my stapler stapler, not quite level there because I'm going to sew it but I just want this to hold it together before I sew it so we've just got a little mark there and a little mark that end, oops so that's going to just hold it in place. You can't see it because we're going to sew around it anyway. Um, so it's just holding it in place instead of gluing it. So now I'm just going to cut this little bit off. So we are level. Like that. And then down this side. Oops. I shouldn't be using these scissors. These are for fabric, that's a bit naughty of me. So, what I want to do, I'm going to cut a little notch in here, like that with my little hole punch. I'm going to use this one, which is a three quarters of an inch um, hole punch. But again, use bigger one if you've got a bigger one. I don't have a bigger one, so I'm just going to pop that like that. Okay, so that is going to be our first pocket and all I'm going to do is sew around here like that. I did actually, what I might do is just sew down here before I sew it together just so I can reinforce this bit here just on the front. So now we need to make these two pockets. So we're going to take the other half of this. Now I'm going to just fold this up to give us an idea of how big we want the bottom pocket so I'm going to cut it off about there so just sort of eyeball it 
just cut this little bit off just like that so we have one pocket oopsie daisy one pocket on top and then we have that one on top like that so then we need to stick this onto here now I'm going to stick it sort of I'm going to do it this way because I want it to be a bit longer we need a gap here because I want to bend this over and tuck this bit this little flap what I've done I've bent it over so we need a flap which tucks in there so it's bent over sort of like half an inch or something like that just on there like that so what I'm going to do with this one I'm going to just do a little staple on there just again to hold it together oops I missed that one I think I'm going to cut it down with this I think I will probably get a straighter line than I did before so go down there and then down through there so that's what you want now I'm going to just staple up here as well just to hold that one in oops like that okay so then we want to mark a line down here let me get my little just gonna run that down there and then we want to fold that over just so that's nice and straight okay so then that's what that is and then this will just clip over the side like that and that's what holds it on okay and we want to pop a little little notch in here like that so that's those two done we've got another piece of paper and I'm going to just do the same on this one so we'll just leave about half an inch here so we can make a little um, foldy over bit let's just pop that oops pop that in there that in there and I'm going to cut this down let's cut it down where are my other scissors? Here we go. Cut this down through there. And then along here. There we go. I'm going to get this little stapler again. This is really good. It just holds everything in place just so you can have everything ready and then you're ready to um, sew it all up but again if you're not going to sew um, you can just glue it down glue it together so I'm just going to make a little notch in there just like that and again bend, whoopsie daisy just make a little line down through there and bend this over Okay. so that's quite simple so all you're doing is backing them so then that slips on to the bottom bit and then that slips on to there so then you have got your three little pockets like that okay so I am going to go and sew these so I'm going to sew I will sew down the little edge just the top piece like that on there on all of them i'm just going to just fold just sew down the top piece and around the edges like that so i will be back in two minutes 
okay so there we are so they're all have been sewn together so that is just that one so we've got a lovely little pocket there in there um, we've got the little one and we've got the little pocket there and this one we've got the little pocket there so what we need to do now let me just cut off these little bits on there like this oops need little bits of cotton let's just trim those off so what we need to do is fold that down and that just slots on there now again you can put them wherever you like on there you can put them one on top of the other so they're in the middle so they just open up like that um, so it's entirely up to you but I'm going to keep these ones I think at the bottom so I'm going to I'm going to ink this little bit just going to ink the um, cotton there a little bit of um, sewing that I did perfect okay so let's glue these onto here make sure we are the right way round so I am just going to pop that on there we need to pop some glue on here. I am just going to use some tacky glue for this. So let me just pop some tacky glue on here. Again, you can use fabric tack or three in one or whatever you have that it's going to be quite strong to stick on there. So let's get that right up to, to the edge and push that on Let's turn it over there we go so make sure that's stuck down nicely okay and that just then lifts up like that okay and then we're going to do the same with this one let's just turn that over pop the glue on here and then push that up against the edge and push that in so make sure that's nice and level make sure there's not too much glue coming out and that just folds on top so then we have our three little pockets squash that down lovely there we go perfect so I will sew that up through there let me open that no it's not this one I was going to sew up was it maybe I will maybe I'll just I think I might have sewn this one just up there just to keep these on nice and safe let me have a look did i do that yes i think i did i also did it on that one as well so before i do that i'm going to cut this in half now because we want this one for the back so let's just fold this in half like this So I'm going to use this as the back page to so make sure that it's the right size so that fits on there perfect so then I want to I'm actually going to stick this onto the other piece of card because this is the back page but what I want to do is leave a lip like we did on the other one like this I'm going to show you here how oh, it's covered up under here so there's a lip on there so that's how we pop it onto the the other side so I'm going to leave a little lip on there I'm just going to glue it with some glue stick so glue this down nicely lots of lovely glue 
this is just a cheap glue stick this one it's an MP it's called stick that on there a bit too much so this is just a cheap one from my local local shop but it's really really good so what I'm going to do stick this down on top lots of glue everywhere as always make sure that's nice and flat little bit sticky there and we're going to cut down here and along with the top lovely oops and again we need to fold this piece over so let's just mark it down there so we've got a little bit of a line this one's probably easier to do just butt up against the piece of paper there just like that perfect and then it actually comes forward to this one Yeah. Now I'm going to sew all the way around this. I think I've done that the wrong. Folded it. See, Billy, it's got to go this way, hasn't it? Now I've done it on the wrong side. That was clever of me, wasn't it? So what I need to do really is I've gone and glued it on the wrong side. Silly Billy. Right, two minutes, I'm going to go and get another piece of paper. Okay, so I have another piece of paper and I have another piece here. So we'll see if we can do it properly this time. So I'm going to fold this in half again. Like this. I could probably cover actually what I should have done it is thinking about it what did I do with it I could have that as the inside piece as well but then I'd have to cover it no I won't I'm going to do it properly so let's see we need to let's cover this up so I need it on this side don't I silly Billy so let's stick this down so, so this is what happens when you make it up as you go along didn't quite remember which way round to put it on there but never mind i will make something else out of that piece that i have so let's stick this this way I think that's right. Let's hope so. Put down nice and flat. There we go. And let's chop this bit off. Let's hope I'm chopping the right side off. to just make a score mark down here again do this on your scoreboard and I'm just going to do this like this and I'm going to bend it over it's all nice and level I 
Okay. So let's see if we've got this right. So then this piece then just glues onto there, sticks onto there, and then you've got your back page. There we go. Got there in the end. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to sew around this bit just to tidy it up. Um, so we've got the sewing on it. And what I will do as well, I think I will sew it. Once it's on, I'm just going to sew up through this bit as well, just to keep that on so it's safe. Okay, so I will be two minutes. Okay, before I sew it up, I'm going to show you how I stick it on there. So I've sewn around this piece here, so that's all nice and tidy now. So this is the inside, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to stick that on top, just so it's level with the outside like that, just to make sort of like, almost like the spine. So I'm going to do that with some tacky glue. This works really, really well, sticks really well. So you can use any tacky glue. Most tacky glues are the same, I think. But I do like Anita's, but I've used lots of different tacky glues. Um, so just it's preference really, I think, whoops. Could have done with a one with a bigger hole really to do this much gluing let's just stick that down make sure they are the right way round I'm going to pop that on the top make sure we are level just stick that down and then we've got our lovely little journal now you can do it where you've got your whole piece if you wanted to and then um, stick these on top of here um, but I wanted the actual flaps to be sort of like hidden um, so that's why I did it that way so there we go doesn't that look nice so quite simple so we've got the three little pockets there and your journal. So I'm just going to run the sewing machine just down there quickly, just to keep this page on. Okay, there we go. So I've just run the sewing machine down there. I'm not going to obviously do around there because let me make sure we're around the right way. Because obviously if I go around there, we're going to go on the front of the cover. So let me just ink that up. Not that we really see it because we're going to cover this up anyway. So there we go guys, that is the basics of your little folder, um, your little journal, pocket journal, whatever we're going to call it. So now what we want to do is add the inside, the little pages. So on this one, I've sewn the signature onto the piece of fabric and then stuck the fabric into the book. So it means that the signature, it doesn't um, get sewn onto the actual through the journal so I'm not going to use the fabric this time I have got the journal pages here which I've already done just folded up some paper like that I have got a piece of card just like that to stick on the front I made it the same size as this like that same size as the paper and then what I'm going to do is just glue that to the um, inside of the cover like that so I shall show you how we are going to do that pop that to the side get my little box here I've got my little book to make the holes with I've got my little pot here which I've got my needle here and we've got some wax thread so I'm going to take three lengths of the thread now you don't have to use wax thread, you can use embroidery, um, cotton, things like this as well. Um, so it doesn't matter, you don't have to use that if you don't have it. You can use bits of cotton, make sure it's sort of like reasonably thick. Now let's just thread this through there. 
pop this to the side and then we're just going to make some holes in this so let's make sure this is level like that now find the middle pop that in the reason we have a book is because it's easier because it gives you that nice V shape it's easier to um, poke in poke the holes through Oops, I'm going to get my pokey all there, pop that through the middle, move along, one down the, that end, and then one down that end, and there we go. Pop that to the side, and then what we're going to do, we shall sew this signature in to the actual piece of card, so I'm going to go through the middle, up through the bottom or the top, doesn't really matter, down through there and then we come back up through the middle, let's turn it this way, like that, pop our needle away, now I'm going to just tie these either side Now again, you could probably um, as well, you could staple this to the back piece as well, like we did before. I'm just going to cut these off. Cut them off quite short because I don't really need those. And then what we're going to do, we're going to actually stick these two bits down to the journal. Take this out make sure we get it in the middle so what shall we use I should do with a bigger head on this really let's just there we go and what I'm going to do I'm going to just push that in so it's sort of in the middle and push that down and then we can just add the glue to the back piece so this is quite an easy way to add a signature into your book all round the edges like that and then we will just close up the book make sure that's flattened down nicely like that a bit of glue escaping and there we are we have got our lovely journal there which has got your little glued in signature there which is good we've got probably I don't know 10 or 12 pages on there um, and then that is your lovely journal I think that's come out really really nice um, a few little mistakes but never mind so I've got some little bits and pieces here so let's do a little bit of decorating lots of little butterflies and all sorts now I'm going to find my cheesecloth which I've got here as well so let's have some of these little sayings okay when you love what you have you have everything you need that's certainly true isn't it so we could pop that see these match lovely don't they so i'm going to pop a little bit of cheesecloth behind so this is the nice bit where we get to um do some decorating some embellishing let's wrinkle this up like this this down I'm gonna squash this onto here I always like to stick my cheesecloth down with um, some glue stick because you can sort of like move it about really nicely like that I think that will just fit on there really well let's have where's my fabric tag my three-in-one 
here we go stick a little bit of this on here pop that down so that looks nice a little bit more glue I think here just so I can squash that up a little bit more I might pop one of these little, oops, just one of those, just like that there, I think. Oops, I should have put this up the other way. There we go. A little bit of glue on there. Put that on. So that looks nice. You stick down. That's your first little pocket decorated. And then we want something. What should we pop on the top? Should we have gratitude just there? Oops. Butterfly stuck to me. It's just a little bit of ink around the edge of this one, I think. Just a little bit there. And I'm going to pop that there. That looks quite nice, doesn't it? Maybe we'll have a little um, butterfly or something on it as well. Let's pop a little bit of glue. Just like that. Now you could probably pop some of that along the top of this, wouldn't it, if you wrinkled it up? I could have sewn it actually to these before... I um, popped them in would have looked nice. I've also got some little bows here that maybe I'll put one of those up there. I quite like that left like that on its own actually for that page. I'm not going to put anything under here. I'm just going to do it so you can see it from the front. So what shall we have on the top? Let's have another saying, shall we? What's this one? Every moment is a fresh beginning. We could have that lovely one there, couldn't we? Or should we have a different one? Little words, then. I think I'm going to stick with that one. We will put a little bit of that like that. And then we can have a little bow. What did I do with it? There it is. Little bow like that. That was right beside me. That's nice. Oh, I think I quite like the longer one actually. Decisions. Okay, a little bit of glue. Oops. little bit of fabric tack on here and also a little bit on the front oops just gonna lift that up did I stick that down too much I'm gonna pop that on pop that on top just like that stick that down just check my camera a minute. No, we're doing good for time. Yeah, I think that looks really nice. Then I think I would just pop this little one on here. A little bit of fabric tack coming out of there. I'm going to stick that on there like that. Which I think looks really pretty, doesn't it? So how lovely is that? So we've got a nice little pocket journal. Shall we have a little butterfly in there? Just that little gap here, I think. Little gap, pop that on there. Squash that up. Just shows you that the um, the papers and everything go really well together even the little butterflies on the grungy 
grungy rose paper looks good so that looks really nice I think oh, I might even put a little butterfly down there I do love my butterflies let's squash this one up pop you there I think there we go let's pop you on there like that Go. Lovely. How cute is that? I do like that. Really, really nice. We've got all these lovely little bits. I've also got a little bit of seam binding, but I don't need that. So then, guys, you can just make yourself some little tags to pop inside the little um, pockets. So I've got these ones from the other one, but obviously they're not going to match in here that well. And then you can just fill your pockets up with lots of little goodies in there. So there we are guys, I hope you enjoyed that, um, it shows that you do make mistakes, well I make mistakes anyway, putting things on the wrong way round, but we soon fixed that. So there we are, nice little pocket journal, um, you can cover the back page if you wanted to, if you didn't want this, or you can put one with fabric in. But I think it's easy if you're you're starting off to put a paper one in or like a card one in. It's a lot easier to stick down um, to do than a fabric one because this is quite soft. Um, it's easier with a, with a bit of paper on there or a bit of card on there. And then you can get all your little bits and pieces and pop them in the pockets. So there we go, guys. Thank you so, so much for joining me. Um, I hope you're safe and well. I hope you're going to give this a go. Um, please do take care and I will see you next time. All right, guys. Thank you. Bye bye.